you may remember earlier in the series, we showed a caravan snaking behind the vehicle that was towing it. Something that often happens with caravans or trailers. And our advice was, if you're towing something and it starts to do that, what you should do is gently accelerate your way out of trouble. Now, we've since heard that that's regarded as old-fashioned, that what you should really do is gently take your foot off the accelerator and reduce speed. Well, with two competing theories, we decided to put them to the test. In our demonstration, we fitted out a caravan and a car with cameras and then loaded the caravan so that it was properly balanced. Its weight is distributed evenly, so there's no reason for it to start snaking or weaving. And if it does, it should be easy to control. To help us out, we asked Dr. Joss Darling, who did the original research for the Caravan Club. If things do go wrong, then the recommendation, and that's partly what we're here to check today, the recommendation is to try and slow down as carefully as you can. So don't slam on the brakes, just lift off the accelerator, just keep everything under control. If you stick your foot on the brakes, then you might well jackknife the unit, and obviously that's bad news. If you try and accelerate out, well, if the whole thing's gone unstable in the first place, then what you find is that the faster you go, the less stable it gets. So by speeding up, you might be making matters worse rather than better. And that's one of the things we want to check. OK, if you uh, want to drive up here somewhere in the middle of the track, between 40, 45 miles an hour, if you get a bit of a wobble on, uh, and then see if you can accelerate out and see what happens. All right. Yep. We asked a specialist driver, Paul Heisman, to produce an effect that can happen easily by accident if you swerve or are passed too close by a coach or lorry. Accelerating through to get into second gear. Right, I'm up to 35 miles an hour now. I'm just going up to 40 now, 45. Feeling all right. Now I'm just going to start putting the wobble on. Right, here we go. The wobble's going on. Paul then gently accelerates to stop the weaving. And this is what happened. And it's straightened up very well. It felt very, very stable, that weight over the axles. You could feel it actually stabilising itself out. It? And at one point we got the wheel, one wheel off the ground. Yeah, okay. And um, you could feel it actually stabilise itself, stabilize itself was out. Was it? Yeah, it was, right. and it was a very, very smooth ride, actually. OK. Oh, that's good, and, that's good. Uh, we then repeated the experiment with exactly the same load at the same speed, but this time we asked Paul gently to decelerate to stop the snaking. 45, 47, 45 miles an hour, 40, 50 miles an hour, and we've got the wobble on. And that is really going well. It feels really, really well, and I'm going to decelerate out of it. And that was fantastic. Actually, that came back really well. How was that then? Well, that was much better. Much, yeah. much better slowing down. Much better de accelerating. You see how much out of control it was? Yeah, it was. It was going all yeah. over the place with a weight distributed over the back axles correctly. Uh, we were doing just under 50 miles an hour there. Right. And um, I took my foot off the accelerator. Right. And it just comes straight back. Next, we loaded the caravan unevenly. Not a huge difference. The sort of thing that happens if you put a couple of heavy suitcases in the wrong place. Again, we asked Paul to drive at the same speed and to start a weave. And again, gently to accelerate to see if the snaking could be controlled. Here we go. Uh, that's a bit more difficult to control, I think. Oh dear, it's not looking so healthy anymore. Um, I suppose it did what we expected, really. Um, no great surprises, but not very nice scenario, I suppose. But at least everyone's all right. OK, Paul, well, what about that one, then? It certainly went over, didn't it? Eh? You're not kidding. Um, once it started going, I tried to accelerate it, and I think that probably made it worse. You reckon? Yeah. yeah. And, and the know, caravan just takes over. And the caravan just takes over. Obviously, it's right. smooth right around this way, you know. I've yeah, it was all pretty spectacular, yeah, really. it definitely yeah. went. And, you know, considering how we had it completely balanced properly, and then just to put them weights at each end, it's unbalance a, yeah. it, well, this is what you've Surprising. got on the motorway. It's a relatively small change, yeah. but you do yeah. need that attention to detail, because oh, yeah. yeah, otherwise... It's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. 
Now, we've repeated the demonstration, but this time, Paul gently decelerates to try to stop the wheel. I'm starting to wobble now. So, how was that one? Oh, that also went over, didn't it? Yeah. Eh? And it's that not was looking good. Yeah. And that was deaccelerating. So, which was better, if any? What do you reckon? Uh, if any, I'm probably slowing down. You know. Yeah, you reckon? Yeah. I mean, this one's in slightly better. This one's in this slightly better, and also when I did try to accelerate out, you can see on the last one how much it went. It went even further along, you know. Right. But, right. You know, at the end of the day, if it does go over on the motorway, it's, you're in trouble. Yeah, I don't right? bear thinking no. about really. No. And so then, really, the advice then at the end of the day. Stack in your caravan properly. properly. Yeah. Right. But if it goes wrong, slow down. Then try and slow down. Yeah. yeah. yeah.